Hi YouTube, this is uh, Pim Withers. I've just had uh, a bit of free time this week so I've been concentrating down on this end. Uh, managed to get all the uh, track around this section ballasted and weathered. Um, just thought I'd have a little bit of a running session in a minute. And have a little bit of chat as things are going by. I've had a few comments on the Northern Bell, so we'll have a closer look. Quite, uh, quite nice rake of coaches. There's still about another five to get hold of, but they are proving quite difficult to find. But it's taken me four months to pick up that lot, so no doubt we shall get some more. On this uh, top section here, I've managed to. Uh, Realign the track slightly and get uh, an extra siding in here, which will tie in with one of the buildings I'm planning to do there. Down on this uh, lower level, I realigned the track slightly here and got another siding in here. So that's the one thing I seem to be lacking here is storage. So I just dropped the MPV in there at the minute. So somewhere to store that. There's the network rail class 31 coming through. And I've started tying together the um, scenery here. Put a static grass on the hill here, filling in a little bit of greenery around. I also managed to get another side in up behind there. So got a rake of wagons in there. Obviously I've painted up all this stone, quite time consuming painting the individual stones but on the whole looks quite nice. A little bit of greenery along the edges here, probably in time I'll get a bit in between the tracks there but uh, on the whole it's starting to close in quite well. You hear a lot of trains here. I think we've got a derailment, but just bear with me. Yeah, so uh, like I say, we've done quite a bit of uh, work down on this end. There's a test train going down through the cut in there. So just for a change, a little look around tonight. And we'll uh, have a look down, obviously in the fiddle yard below. Not uh, a little bit of space left in there. And uh, I've had someone ask, and they wouldn't mind having a look around the engine shed area. So we'll whip across there in a moment and have a look. Right, we'll do something that I haven't done for a long time, is have a quick walk around the layout. We've got a double helix here, obviously with the three tracks, which drops down, there's a little bit of a slope there, which then drops down in underneath. And we've got a nine lane fiddle yard underneath, so I can keep the nine complete sets in there. I've got nearly nine foot long in each siding. And then obviously the uh, train will run around there and it'll come around this helix in here which is then obviously underneath all of this down this end. That makes a change, nice bit of action here at the same time. And obviously then that uh, train that we've seen in going through the fiddle yard should hopefully appear. There we are, just see the lights. It takes about five minutes to do a circuit at the speed we're doing. So obviously we've got a slope now and this raises up probably about nine inches from the level it's at now. Or sorry, from the level below comes up around through that tunnel. Which 
HST is just coming through there. Comes out through there. Runs down through the station. Through that tunnel there. Then does a circuit through here, which is the lower level. Which then comes back out around there on that level that the MPV is goes back in behind around the back of that lower level and then comes out there where the class 50 is running across and then uh, back underneath there which should hopefully make it clear as mud and then we've got the top level there which is just two tracks on the top. And obviously that's where the northern bell is just going through two block pillars. I drilled a four inch hole through there. Runs along there past the clay works, past the old stone. Runs back through on the top section. I've got a couple of sidings on this at the top. Runs through there. runs over that top where all the houses are now returns back through the workshop and then uh, runs along this middle section and there it is coming around the bend back end of the tunnel. That's basically uh, a quick look, in nearly four minutes, quick round the uh, layout. Right, now we're having a different view. It's hard to describe it, but I'm filming from a different area. There's the uh, bit that I've been working on double helix there around that post and now we're in behind the top layer so we've got the uh, northern bell coming through again uh, oh that was lucky class 50 just coming out on the lower level that's the old uh, corn field for the combine is looking down and the little cottages there for our signal box the scrap yard and here's the uh, back view of the station and if we pan around here that's looking at the engine shed Got a little bit of steam on the shed. West Country Class, Weymouth, uh, Lodestar, a little pannier tank, City of Truro, uh, Plymouth, another West Country Class, Brompton, and obviously the shed. And just to the right of that tunnel mouth, there's a single tunnel mouth there, which actually loops around comes through here and then runs up through here which that gives me a link between the lower level and the top section so rather than hand the gold I can run the trains down through that I just thought for a change I'd give you a look around hopefully it's been of interest I get a lot of questions about how it works. I ask myself the same thing sometimes, but uh, it seems to. I will just finish off with a little bit of running without my uh, 
talking. Thanks for watching. As I say, bye for now.